Hello everybody, welcome back to more banjo Tui. go -huh. Last time we went to Glitter Gulch Mine, went, uh, learned a bunch of new moves, and collected a bunch of jiggies there, and we've basically cleared the place out. I say basically because there are a couple of things we'll need to go back for later after we learn new moves, but now that we have the new build drill move, we're gonna go back to Spiral Mountain. There's a couple of things we can do here. So right off the bat, if we go back to Spiral Mountain, it'll just skip us past that digger tunnel we had before. We can defeat the booger beans. So first thing we're gonna do is go back to Banjo's house. If you'll remember, there was this boulder here that our goldfish was stuck under. Now that we have the build drill, we can remove that. Ah, uh, that's so much better. Uh, shouldn't you be in the water where it's safer? You're right. I'll probably dry up and die if I don't get back to the moat around the Spiral Mountain soon. I suppose you'll be wanting a carry then. Well, I walked there myself, but we goldfish are a little disadvantaged in the leg department. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna pick up Royston. Then just go into the water around Spiral Mountain. There we go. Thanks, guys. Perhaps these extra bubbles may be of some use. Bubbles? We want at least a jiggy for that. Sorry, I'm all out of those. However, I'll also teach you how to swim faster. Simply press A and B together. Cheerio! So this is honestly a better reward than a jiggy. For uh, rescuing the goldfish will give you double the air supply, which is really nice. And it makes the swimming controls even better. If we now tap A and B, you actually swim quite fast and you still have really good control. So definitely save the goldfish as soon as possible. Now, the other thing that we want to do is we want to go to back to Grunty's lair because we've got enough Cheeto pages to learn a cheat from Cheeto Supremo. So last time we climbed up to the top and then used the flight pad, but you can also high jump and climb up this ladder here, which is a slightly quicker way. Hello, Cheeto. Great, you forgot enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. About time, spill the beans. Hand over my precious pages first. Much obliged. My first cheat is feathers. Got it? Here's a small clue as to how to activate the cheat. Mayahem Temple. Cold Chamber. Letters. Got it? No, I still don't understand. I do, Banjo! Come on, let's go use that cheat! This is a menu of the codes I have told you. So we only have one code now, Feathers, which is a new one. So yeah, if we go back to the Mayahem Temple code chamber, we can enter that cheat and activate it. And also, there are the cheats that uh, Cheeto will teach us. There are also a couple of other cheats. There are a few cheats we'll learn through other means. And there are also a couple of extra top secret cheats that I might show off, but a lot of them kind of break the game a little bit. Now one thing that we're gonna do we could have done this after clearing the Mayahem Temple, but I wanted to make just one trip to Spiral Mountain. If we fly up to the top here, you can actually fly up to the top of this waterfall, which we could not do in the first banjo. And we can actually enter this little hole where the waterfall is flowing out of. It takes us to a secret place behind the waterfall. And look at that! There's another N64 Banjo-Kazooie cartridge back there. Now the question is, how do we reach there? Because at this point, we've just, we've reached a dead end here. Well, actually, not quite. If we go right here and then do a high jump, there's a secret ledge we can grab onto once we learn the grip grab. Climb up behind this waterfall, and it'll take us straight to this secret cavern back here. Destroy that, and we get the blue egg. Wow, it's Banjo-Kazooie's mysterious blue secret egg. I wonder what's inside. So that's the the egg from Banjo-Kazooie that you uh, can find behind the secret door in Gobi's Valley if you enter that secret code, aka the stop and swap. 
So that's one of the few uh, stop and swap items that actually was carried over into Banjo Tooie. Unfortunately, we uh, we don't really get any secrets with it right now. But if you remember, one thing in Ban uh, Banjo Tooie that we saw, ouch, in the Isle of Hags, was Heggy's egg shed, and she said, "Ah, if you have any eggs to hatch, then bring them to Heggy." So we're gonna do that next. I actually changed my mind. Instead of going to Heggy's next, we're gonna go to the next part of the Isle of Hags. So, this is where the digger went, as you can see by the tracks, except it reaches, it leads us to this gate that is just blocked. Take that, you stupid booger beans. Let me get the health. Alright, well if we go into first person mode, there's this fire switch up here. You can activate this with a fire egg, which means you can do this as soon as you learn fire eggs, and I strongly recommend you go here right after learning fire eggs, because this leads to the next area of Isle of Hags. There's something very good past here, but I purposefully didn't get it because it breaks Glitter Gold's mind a little too much, I feel. At least when it comes to the boss fight. It makes the boss fight laughably easy. I mean, the boss fight's already laughably easy, so welcome to the Pine Grove. Take that. So as you can see, there's this, um, neon sign for Witchy World. How? What the- You came out of nowhere, just like Lucas. <laughs> the Flume of Doom, out of order. Yeah, this is like an amusement park. <laughs> and it's fantastic. Also, Wumpa's Wigwam is here. But first, let's activate the silo. Giving us another shortcut. Let's pay Wumba a visit. Banjo's walking on nothing. I have very special spell, but need legendary Mega Globo. Let me guess, I bet there's only one of these Mega Globo things, and it's real hard to find. Bird correct, now go and find. You not have Mega Globo, return when do. Alright, yeah, we gotta find the Mega Globo for this one. Which we won't be able to get for a while. Alright, so if we couldn't tell, this is World 3. <laughs> we saw a peak of Witchy World when we went through the Glitter Gulch Mine Tunnel, but... This is by far my favorite world in the whole game, and quite possibly my favorite world in any video game ever. It's brilliant. Let's read some of these signs outside it. Witchy World Theme Park is currently closed due to an appalling safety record. Once the authorities have been bribed, we will reopen. Thank you. <laughs> oh boy. Anyone who rides all the quality attractions and survives is entitled to join the Witchy World Fan Club. Current club members, zero. <laughs> oh, this, is this place looks safe. The management accepts no responsibility for the thieving pickpockets that it employs within the witchy world. <laughs> this is just a taste of what's inside that world, by the way. It's fantastic. Alright, this is why you want to go to the Pine Grove as soon as possible. This new move. You only need 110 notes, which you can easily have at that point. Grenade eggs. For blasting things these eggs were made, don't stand close when you fire a grenade. Grenade eggs are one of the most overpowered weapons of the game. That'll be all. Dismissed! Yeah, uh, grenade eggs? They're like what you see. They're exactly what they sound like. They are eggs that are grenades and can blow things up. They are incredibly powerful. Um, they're, they just destroy old King Cole even more than he normally gets destroyed. And they are needed for a huge amount of jiggies in the game. So definitely make sure you pick those up as soon as possible. Alright. If we swim down here, there's a Kazooie boulder that we saw in Glitter Gulch Mine. There are also ten notes to find in that, uh, <laughs> in the log flume, uh, cart that got sunk in this. <laughs> I don't want to ride that log flume. No wonder the flume of doom is out of order. Their one and only car is in the drink. There's also this other, um, flume of doom with car with ten notes in it here. But unfortunately, we can't actually enter Witchy World just yet. We're gonna go back to the Wooded Hollow. Now we're gonna pay egg, uh, Haggies and Egg Shed a visit. Bum, 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 bum. 
So I believe Heggies is down here. There we go. I recognize that giant egg anywhere. Hey, Heggy. Clock! Heggy the Hen! Clock! Find special egg! Clock! Got Heggy special egg! That's right, it's real special! Clock! Throw it in the nest! Clock! Watch Heggy hatch! Why did you take that long roundabout way over to the nest? Clock! Special Heggy Egg Award homing eggs! Clock! Very nice! Clock! Go to Cheeto Code Room and enter homing to enable feature. Alright, so that's, like I said, um, like I said earlier in this video, you can learn cheats mainly from Cheeto, but there are also a couple of other places you can learn them, and Heggy is one of them. She gives us a special cheat code, which we are also going to enter in the Maya Hem Temple code room. Also, there's this eggshell here with the bill drill. We can destroy it and reveal two pads that we can't do anything with, but we'll need those for later on. Alright, we're here in the code chamber in Maya Hem Temple. We're going to step on this podium here, and it'll force us into first-person view. So, first up, we have the Feathers cheat. So we type in F-E-A-T-H-E-R and S. Nice shooting. Now step across to the cheat sheet on the wall over there and press B to view your new cheat. The cheat sheet. The feathers cheat will double the maximum number of red and gold feathers that you can carry. So it's basically two of the codes from Banjo-Kazooie, again, just combined into one. Except if you'll remember, we could already carry double the amount of feathers compared to the first Banjo game. Or, or rather, Banjo-Tooie at the beginning, you can it acts like you activated the feathers cheats from the first Banjo game. Alright, and then the other one we have to enter is homing. H-O-M... I N N G. The homing cheat will make eggs home in on baddies. All right, so this is where uh, <laughs> we're gonna talk about things. You can use this menu to view or change the status of the cheats you have earned. So we're gonna turn on the double feathers one. Just that's nice to have, and it definitely doesn't break the game. The homing eggs kind of break the game a little bit. It trivial. I'm not gonna say trivializes, but it makes a lot of the boss fights and enemies just ridiculously easier. So I'm actually not going to equip those. A couple of the cheats that we get, I will not equip, just because it breaks the game a little too much. That said, it's your game, so if you're playing, feel free to enable all the cheats you want. <laughs> you're here to have fun, after all. Alright, the other thing we're going to do while we're here in Maya Hem Temple is, I'm not going to plan on going doing the backtracking jiggies a, a, a ton as soon as, as soon as we can. I'm going to save most of them for a later video. But, having said that, we're going to go to the prison compound because there are a couple things we can do here. One, we can get the final jiggy from the Maya Hem Temple, which we were not able to do before. So if you'll remember, there's this water over here that takes us to a special area with all these columns with a jiggy on top. As you can see, swimming, uh, the Royston super speed uh, swimming is a lot nicer. Make sure you do that. So there's a jiggy up on one of these columns, and there's this boulder here. Now that we have Bill Drill, we can destroy the boulder. We don't need Golden Goliath. And it takes us to this secret area underneath, uh, underneath the level. It's the Columns Vault. So there are all of these pillars that extend all the way down here. What we're going to do is hit the pillar that has the jiggy on it. That'll knock it to the next pillar. So we're gonna go counterclockwise one pillar. And we are on a time limit, so we hit this one next. So we just keep doing this until we get it on the smallest of the pillars that we can already just climb up on our own. Oh. 
just like that. It'll fall on the smallest pillar that we can easily jump up on our own. So now we can leave this area and grab the jiggy before the time runs out. So yeah, pretty much every level will have at least one jiggy that you have to backtrack for, really. Just about every level is going to have at least one jiggy you'll have to backtrack for after learning a move from a future level. With one exception being the last world, because that's where you learn the last move. Alright, so that's the last jiggy for Maya Hem Temple. However, if you'll remember, Bullion Bill from Glitter Gulch Mine also lost his partner, Gilberta. And she got locked in the prison compound. Uh, we already talked to the Stony to learn the secret code to let her out. However, now that we're in here, we need to find the boulder that trapped her in. Which can be hard to see due to it being so dark, but it's right here. We're gonna build drill it out of the way. There you go. Thanks very much for unblocking my passage. It's worth a jiggy. Hand it over, you plague-ridden pest. Wow! You'll have to come and see my master Bill about that. Man, Kazooie's like, if you're not giving me a jiggy for this, I literally don't give two flying fucks about it. So now we can go for the very hard to see tunnel. And we're back in the prospector's hut from Glitter Gulch Mine. Hey, Bill. My rodent partner, Duberta, is still missing. Funny you should say that. We had another look around and managed to find her. There she is now. Hi, honey. I'm home. Duberta, is that really you? I'm so happy you found my Duberta. Take this pretty little gold nugget as a reward. Oh, and they had this nice little dance party. How sweet. And we got ourselves another Jiggy. Alright, one other thing I want to do is... I missed one hollow honeycomb piece in Glitter Gulch Mine, and that was totally my bad. I just completely blew past it <laughs> towards the end. It's in the train station, and I just didn't notice it because I was too busy focused on reaching Old King Cole. So, we're going to warp to the train station, get that hollow honeycomb piece, and then get out. I love all this music. <laughs> Banjo Tooie has a gold mine of a soundtrack. Yes, that is a pun. All right. So if we go to the train station, yeah, I just totally missed this one. There are all these crates here. You just destroy that crate, and the, the hollow honeycomb piece is inside. <laughs> it's super easy. I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> I actually do. It's because I forgot it was there. And I didn't think there was anything else in the train station. Yeehaw! Okay, I was not very smart about this. I should have started the episode by getting the grenade eggs, because if I had done that, I would have been able to just do everything in Spiral Mountain in one go. Once you learn grenade eggs, uh, you can find another secret in Spiral Mountain. What we do is we stand on this log here, or around the area. You'll see this gate up here, but it's also cracked a bit. If we fire a grenade egg at it... We'll blow it up, and looky there! It's another Banjo-Kazooie cartridge. Now we need to find uh, the nearest flight pad, which I believe is just in the center. There's a flight pad there, and there's also a flight pad in Grunty's Lair's mouth. Both, I think, are around equally... <laughs> are equally close. And unfortunately, uh, yeah, I, I I should have been a little more smart with my planning because this is going to mean I need to backtrack a little bit more. Ooh, look at those 200 feathers. But it's okay. I'm I'm only human. <laughs> and even if I've played this game many times before, I still don't know the optimal way to do everything. You know, hopefully we don't get knocked out of the air by that flying enemy. We go in here. We destroy the other... The, this is the last Banjo-Kazooie cartridge, and it's the pink egg! Well, well, well! It's Banjo-Kazooie's mysterious pink secret egg! I wonder what's inside! So this is the egg that appears in Shark Food Isle on Treasure Trove Cove. So those, this is uh, the other egg we can find inside the Banjo-Kazooie cartridge. And unfortunately, this also means I need to pay a second visit to Heggy's Egg Shed. But you know what, that's okay, because I also forgot to go to Jiggy Wiggy's Temple and open up World 3. So, you know what, this is going to work out just fine. It just means we're going to have a filler episode in between World 2 and World 3. I hope you guys don't mind that. 
because I hyped up <laughs> World Free so much. There is a reason why I want this Heggy reward, though, before entering World 3. <laughs> Hi, Heggy. Quack, Heggy the Hen. Quack, fine special egg. Quack, got another Heggy egg. In the other nest, right? Quack, yup. And there's the yellow egg up top there, which is the one you found in Abnut's house. Quack! Watch Haggy hatch! Another roundabout way of reaching the nest, but okay. Quack! Special Haggy Egg Award Brico Bash! Quack! Press B and B again for Skinny Bird Bash Clock. So funny. So this actually gives us a new move, which is kind of cool. So if we press B, we'll do that little rat -a tat rap If we press B while Kazooie's doing the rat -a tat rap this happens. Or rather, right before she starts. <laughs> we can literally use Kazooie like a bludgeon. And yes, that is Banjo's side smash in Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Now, this doesn't have a whole lot of practical utility, and it honest, honestly, it's not that great of a move because it, there's a lot of starting lag and you can't move while using it, but it's a funny attack regardless. <laughs> Alright, poor Kazooie. But also, Kazooie's super snarky, so... Whatever. Alright, back to Jiggy Wiggy's temple. We gotta open up world free, y'all. <laughs> Jiggy Wiggy's Temple. Alright, Jiggy Wiggy Challenge Free. Oh, it looks like a Wild West area over here. Not exactly what you were probably expecting from World Free, judging by its entrance. Yeah, World Free is a very interesting world. Very unique and very fun. That's not where I put it. Man, these puzzles are easy with the time limit. Maybe people had too much trouble with Bottles Puzzle in the first game. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 3, so now the Great One will show you the way. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. <laughs> There's a flume stuck at the drop for the flume of doom. That's fantastic. Witchy World is now open. I don't think that's a good thing, judging by it's a safety record, but I don't care. It's the, the magnificent world. You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough Jiggies to attempt ch Jiggy Wiggy's challenge for... Yeah, not now. We only need 14 Jiggies for that. Alright, well... It's time for my favorite part of the game. We're off to world free in the Pine Grove. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This world is amazing. <laughs> Jiggy Wee <laughs> Witchy World is now officially open for business. 